，蛇嘅影咧就好活泼嘅，一笪落嚟嘅时候咧一飙，即系赤红眼，多数咧就挖眼珠嘅，就蛇嘢。龍蛇，虎就虎咧，即係等於頭先我講相互走啊！炮呢，就兇猛嘅喎，使插除啊！即係用嗰度插炮除呢，就係即係仲兇猛過嗰個虎虎形。殼呢，即係等於虎殼完啦，跨除，長一除，飆飆，跳，係嘛？系嘛？肉体全分埋咗啊！上嘛？一锤，腰，点奶，扎实起嚟嘅。It's only in the last few years that the Chinese have been prepared to share the secrets of kung fu with other races. Chinese masters are opening training halls outside the Chinese areas of cities and welcoming students rather than reacting suspiciously to inquiries from outsiders. In London, Master Simon Lau has taken over the top floor of an old church to teach the Wing Chun style. His approach is very different to Master Chan's. <laughs> There is no doubt that Wing Chun is focused on training fighters. Compared to other styles, the techniques are direct and obviously powerful. Master Lao has only recently opened his school. None of the students shown here has had more than one year's training. It's a style that the enthusiastic student can become effective in very quickly. Wing Chun originated in southern China, but it has been developed over the last century in the narrow alleys and back streets of Hong Kong. Its techniques concentrate on lightning fast bursts of close quarters combat. Wing Chun is a very gentle art. It looks like very gentle art. It doesn't look like powerful art. But the power is internal power, more, more or less like soft and hard mix them together. Soft power and hard power mixed together. And you don't have to like a six foot five or six foot and have a physical big build. To learn the hard style as such, so even your slim build or medium build, as soon as you got a mind to put into it, because Wing Chun is mainly is come to the skill and technique to overcome the power. There are only three set forms in Wing Chun, and all are short. This is the first form. Its purpose is control, and in this form, the exercise develops the ability to move one side of the body independently of the other. All the moves are used in kung fu fighting. There are strikes, grips, and rolling hands that twist and control the attacker's arms. Whenever you learn martial art, you must have know how to polish your weapon as such. We're using the punch and these three knuckles. There's a punch. We're using this as a knife hand and attack from that one. The other side, palm strike, elbow, knees, mainly heel, the bottom part of it. And it's a major part of the our the Wing Chun weapon. Using the dummy man allows all the techniques to be used strongly. It hardens the performer's arms, 
training him to expect and accept the pain of his blows. From the art will be transformed your character, your personality. If you're a lazy one, you're the sneaky one, and you're the coward one, whatever is good. All from the art, you will transform your own personality and your character from it. And that would be one point. And the second point, you, you know exactly where you are. Then you know how far. If you've been defeated, you know you're, you're not there. You know if you'll be defeated in the club, you'll be got hit in the street. One, two, three, four. The essence of Wing Five, Chun is speed. Double punches are flung out almost simultaneously and the students are taught to keep their hands relaxed and unclenched for all but the moment of contact. A little bit faster. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let it go. Oh, faster, yeah? Try once again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. When you turn, make sure the punch go with the turning together, yeah? You turn and you punch. You turn the punch together. Yeah? Don't go like separate, like this. You're turning separately. Okay, now we try. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. During the club, practicing in the in the, in the club more violent they take, more violent they're going to act. Only physically violence, not mentally. The physically got to be aggressive, but mentally got to be controlled. You see? So that will be totally different thing altogether. From the beginning, the student might be have temper. That means they're mentally out of control. The te that means they have temper, they're very aggressive-minded, and yet their physical ability is not up to the standard of what they might want to do. Until they take the punch, until they got a hit somewhere, if they are the person who really want to learn self-defense as such. And then eventually, they get up to that standard. When they're good at it, their mentally will be cooled down. Because they know how confident they can handle people, but their physical got to be extremely aggressive. And yet they know exactly what they're doing. Wait, that's better. Hey! That's Hey! Elbows in. 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 Mustn't relax. Guard a bit more high than that. Mustn't let it loose. Yeah? Hey! That's it. Head mustn't bend forward. Forward. The way they move is very limited. The like the rolling hand, the hand they roll, the hand they roll back, the way they move, it is, is, the, it is the method to fight. They only practice those movements, the muscle used to those movements is for fighting. Really, it's not for uh, sort of a competition or anything like that. And then from time to time they build it up. It is the muscle contracting and relax, contract and relax, and contract and relax. And eventually they get the heat and power, which is you don't have a big build and you don't make a big move to, to develop the, the, the deadly skill.